I cannot believe how huge it is. For the planet and for your own health, go vegan. Would you let your beliefs get in the way of your career? Is making the world a better place more important than making your world a better place? If you're Leilani Munter, the answer to all those questions is yes. Munter is a race car driver who turns away big sponsors who would get her into the big leagues of her sport, NASCAR, because they don't match with her ideals regarding companies being green or good to animals. As she puts it, her priorities are ordered like this. I'm an activist with a race car. I'm not a race car driver that's an activist. I'm an activist with the race car. Leilani is a race car driver in the ARCA series, a series that has loose ties to and is considered a lower level than NASCAR. She's had chances to get rides from sponsors with big money that could send her to the Xfinity series with NASCAR, but she's turned them all down, having to watch other drivers get her chances from the couch. But she's okay with that. It wasn't always that way. Her road to riding with a purpose started in 2006. So in 2006, I started a section on my racing website that was actually dedicated to environmental news. I had mentioned the movie An Inconvenient Truth on my, on my website. And this person was calling me all kinds of names. This girl's, you know, brainwashed by Al Gore, global warming is a hoax, that kind of thing. Somebody eventually replied, well, have you actually seen the movie? Because it's a little weird that you're so angry at this driver. Then the argument became about the movie and by the time I got to the end of the thread people were actually posting graphs of the parts per million of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere and I realized that you know my place in this sport was to get those conversations started. Leilani pushed forward with her activism and made it a part of her racing. She decided that she would only allow companies that were green and good to animals to be her sponsors. Now, her outspokenness was tough on her and that she was having conversations with people who didn't agree with her, as well as the fact that without the funding of larger sponsors, she wasn't going to advance as a driver. I definitely had marketing companies coming to me, marketing people in racing and say, you need to shut up about all this environmental stuff. Just shut up and drive the race car and plug your sponsors. Like, if you want to make it in our sport, you can't be picky. I mean, I've walked away from rides in the upper levels, multi-million dollar deals, because I, I just wouldn't have felt good about what I would have had on my suit and on my car. And I'm not gonna sell my soul and put some company on my car that I don't think is doing good things for the world just so I can race a car. And then I won't race, I'd rather not race. The surprising thing is that this is all different from how she began in racing in 2001, where she was just trying to fit in. I was trying to be accepted. I, I, I didn't want people to know I was vegetarian because they, you know, I thought they'd kick me out of the garage. <laughs> and, uh, you know, as a woman, you're already kind of standing out. And then on top of that, all of my beliefs were making me even more alienated from the rest of the garage. She grew more confident as she went along, and that's good for her because let's face it, her politics are very left and she's in a world full of people who lean to the right. But Leilani sees that as a good thing, to have people on the left and right start talking more and more importantly to listen to one another. You truly want to create change, you have to have the discussion with people who don't agree with you. I'm all about not preaching to the choir. And she says you don't need to be a race car driver to create change. Anybody with access to the internet can sign up for a social media account and you you can use that account to really spread awareness. At the end of the day, Leilani Munter is driven by one simple ideal. Can we please leave the planet better than we found it, not worse than we found it? Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked what you watched, please feel free to comment, like, subscribe. We have a lot of great stuff coming out and we hope you'll keep watching. Thanks again.